just great. Thank God. And we praise he, the Lord for that. We praise the Lord for that. And um, we'll be back tomorrow night at the same time, same place, right here to uplift Jesus and again. And we know you'll be here. That's right. So we'll meet as a family again tomorrow night to do the same thing. Praise our Heavenly Father and lift him up. Praise his name. Glorify him. That's right. Magnify him because he's worthy. So as we always do, we must always say a prayer to thank our Father in heaven for being our Father. So I have any Father, we come to you again tonight to thank you for this Sabbath day, Father, that you have made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. That you have taken, Father, and blessed it and made it holy. Father, we know that all that we had in this day, Father, again, that you have given it to us that you have taken it and made it all possible for us. And Father, we thank you for that. You have walked with us again through this day and held a merciful hand up over us and protected us from the enemy. And Father, we thank you so much for that. And Father, we just ask you to hold a merciful hand up over the family, over those young kids today over there shooting, shooting in high school today, Father, down in a Mayfield, some part of the South. I'm not sure, Lord, but you know, I, I, I'm i not quite sure. I just heard part of it on the news. But two of the kids died. Lord, you 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 know, the families are in, in bad, bad shape. They're in mercy, need your mercy. They lost their children. Hold them up for hand, oh Lord. Touch them, Jesus. They're in the need of your love tonight. They're in need of your touch, as well as the one that did the shooting, Father. Their parents, his parents is in the need of your touch too, Father. The enemy is so busy that he's using whoever would allow him to use them, Father. We ask you, Father, to touch both families, Lord. Lighten the burdens. Things are so heavy now, Father. This world is so dark. Father, that we ask you to touch both families. Give mercy on both sides, Lord. Because the enemy don't care who he use. Don't care who he destroy. He's out to kill, steal, steal, kill, and destroy. And Father, he's doing it. Because his time is winding up. It's getting close where his time is just about over. And Lord, he's taking our kids and he's using them in all kind of ways. Lord, tonight we're just praying that you will intervene on a lot of his work that he's trying to do within our kids. So, Father, we just ask you to touch that family on both, both families. Give them grace. Give them your love. Let them know that you're standing on both sides of the fence and that you're there. That they can call on you. But you're standing there with your arms open, waiting on their call. We thank you, Father, for watching over us. We had you wrong, Father, asking you to forgive us for our sins, our hidden sins, anything that we may have said or done today. That was displeasing to you. Father, we just ask you to watch over us, us as we lay down to sleep tonight. Protect us from the enemy, Father. We ask you to keep us throughout the night. And be with us if you give us another day to watch over us and protect us. We ask you this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, Heavenly Father, we truly thank you again that you have blessed us one more time. 
We thank you for a week that you have given us, that you have blessed our going in and going out and coming in. And you have strengthened us each and every day. And we thank you for your Sabbath, Lord, that you've given us that we may worship you in spirit and in truth. And tonight, Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our sins. Lord, forgive us of times when we've been selfish and prideful and been backbiting and speaking evil of others and having those evil thoughts. Lord, we ask you to forgive us tonight. And tonight, once again, Lord, we continue to lift up those that are going through so much as we pray we pray for the shooting over there at the high school. We want to pray for healing and protection and comfort for the family and the children. And Lord, we want to continue to pray for those that are coming in contact with those with this Ebola and so much is so is happening so much that all we need to do is as your word says, humble ourselves and turn from our wicked ways and pray for our nation. And Lord, help us not to have fear. Help us to look to you, Lord, because you are the one that's going to fight the battle. But we truly have to stand firmly fixed on your word. And we ask you, Lord, to fill us with your Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us every step of the way. And as we take each and every day, Lord, that you give us, may we, may we be witnesses for you. May we stand firmly fixed and let the world know that you are very much alive and that we love you, Lord, and that people may see Jesus through our lives. And we want to continue to pray for our sister. She's having headaches we want to pray Lord that whatever the situation is that she will be healed and that she may find out what's going on and you know that she needs to go to the doctor but we ask for healing for her tonight and Lord we just thank you for the time you continue to give to us that we may take this program Lord and let those that are listening be blessed may they seek your face Lord because it's the last days and we really need to be praying for those lost souls and we need to have that compassion you continue to give to us for those that are in need to to find you Lord to get to know you to give their lives to you and Lord we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory thanking you always for your peace your joy your strength your love and your protection upon us our family and our friends and we thank you Lord because you always hear and answer our prayers. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we tell you we had a great, great, great time. So Yes, we have. And may the windows of heaven open and pour upon you a bundle of blessings. And may you have a happy Sabbath. Yes. And have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow night. So until tomorrow night, take care. And, may and God, good night. And may God bless you. And good night. a reaction that follows. And Lord, right now, we come with an attitude of gratitude, thanking you for your actions, praising you for your ways, because you are God. We find ourselves constantly thanking you because you're constantly blessing us. And because we have an attitude of gratitude, we can't help but to react to your actions. That's why we stop once again, Lord, as humble as we know how to constantly, constantly, constantly thank you.
Constantly, 